Okay, my front door is not working, or the lock isn't specifically. That should be one motion egress so that when you use the inside lever, this bolt should retract fully, but it is not. So now that I have a shop and some free time, I can fix actual lock problems at my house instead of just painting all the time, which I've spent the past four months doing. Uh, but fortunately, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I know what's going on here. No broken parts or springs, anything like that. So this is just a basic servicing video for an MTEC mortise locked. Good night. That's a spring. Um, well, nothing broken, but check a here. Pieces of wood, that ain't good. Uh, everything looks pretty good. So pretty much what I assume is wrong is that it's just dry. It's probably never been lubricated since it's been installed. And if you look in here, there ain't really much lubricant. A little bit, a little bit of grease film still left, but uh, another piece of wood. That's pretty much all there is. So I'm almost certain that this is nothing more than a lock, just needing some basic TLC, some lubricant. Um, So you've got a toggle switch here. This will unlock and lock the um, outside trim with the bolts retracted. Oh, see, it's trying to do it right there. I guess that's what this lever does, so. That is a heck of a spring. Good night. That spring must go right, y'all. Look at that thing, gosh. Mm, okay. Now let's go ahead and retract the bolt all the way. Well, this is just all sorts of bumbled. I'll tell you what, we'll just do it with it. Put it back together with the bolt all the way through them. Get that slot into that channel right there. You can see I do a lot of MTech work, obviously. I know what I'm doing, huh? This one's gonna be hard to put back. That spring, I tell it's something else. That's seated in there right now where it should be, but if I let go. Whew. I swear it's gonna happen because this thing's so strong. As you saw when I opened it up, it shot it straight down there. Okay, so what we're gonna do, this is more than likely all just a lubricant issue because like I said, there's nothing there. So uh, I'm gonna use uh, fluid film, which is made by the Eureka Chemical Company out in California. Uh, this is what Medico warranties all their cylinders with. and. Since they do so with the click, I imagine it's a de-electric, non-conductive, but um, I don't know for sure. Huh. Okay. Uh, so when lubricating um, the inside of mortise locks, doesn't matter. Every bit can get a piece of uh, lubricant. Uh, you're not going to be hurting anything. This one's a wet lubricant. Um, again, really doesn't matter because this is almost all concealed or covered up and you know, you've got wood surrounding it, mortise pocket, hence the name mortise lock. So you can get carried away with it. So that's, that's what I'm gonna do. Hit every part, moving, non-moving, almost everything in here moves. Springs too, it kind of, in addition to lubricating, it coats the metal and protects it. Um, 
corrosion and all that. And it's lanolin based, so it smells very, very good. Don't get it on your clothes though, you'll never get it off. Ask me how I know. So uh, just like in the other video uh, about getting these things back together, you just kind of have to start working in a spot and move your way down. You gotta find out what's binding first and then move on. Pretty much just like lock picking, huh? Here. This reminds me of a Sergeant 8200 where the compression spring lever return springs right down here and it's got a ton of pressure and it's almost impossible to get in. Um, yeah, we're all in, okay. Well, as crazy it was on the inside, it was actually pretty easy to put it back together. I gotta put a few screws on and just test out the function. Just make sure everything's good to go before we go. Um, inside thumb turn, this does have, um, which is what this is right here. Five screw driver big enough to manipulate it. That ain't it. Oh, let's see. I do. Something or another is amiss. Yeah, this is why we found the chest. So something's out of order in relation to the bolt. that spring send it all the way up there um okay so that should be locked pull you out buddy yeah we'll just make it retract and we'll put it back together it's gonna be a million times harder now because it's all greasy and my hands are now gonna be greasy There we go. Bolt tracted, that's up. All right, I'm worried about this part moving. I guess what would be there considered their uh, transfer lever. <sighs> to borrow from Schlegs, I'll put a torque screwdriver there to hold it in place. Strong. Uh, okay, so down here to the uh, oh, up here first. For, there, that holds it in place. Now we gotta get this back. Oh. Should be good. Second time's a charm, I guess. Actually, it's not all the way in, but I can tell you, as soon as I tighten this down, you're gonna hear it snap in. Yeah. All right, let's try to function test it again. Ooh, God, it's so much smoother. Um, let's see, this is a pitcher handle, so it would be, let's see. So um, the spindles are in here, yes, um, but this is for the inside, for the lever. Um, outside's a pitcher handle, you know, like a pitcher of water, and it goes underneath here. That's what does your latch. Um, so we're good there, and I don't know if you just heard when I was playing with the toggle, that's what clicked back in. It was very hard, so good there. Uh, let's see. 
we are we're unlocked now so let's make sure that this should go back in when it's locked and it do all right so we're good there and the bolt is dead so all is well so let's go uh, put it back on the door and make sure everything's good well first things first we took out five screws when we only put two back in I guess we could function test it too. The, imagine if we had a key for the bolt on the outside. Yeah, there we go. Lock, unlock, or lock, unlock. There we go. So we're good. When the bolts are unlatched, it's dead latched in place. So uh, no auxiliary latch, it just depends on the bolt. Um, so there be that. Let's go put her back and make sure she works. All right, shoot. Got the bolt thrown. We're good. Oops. Hope you get it in uh, focus. I'll try it with key. Good there. Lock. Unlock. We good. All right. So in uh, 20, 30 years, I'll make another follow-up video and make sure that the lubricant still worked and uh, that we kept the uh, wood out of there. So. Until then, we'll find out.